You were very popular in the Montreal wrestling territories mm. in your younger days and held the Canadian championship. Yes. Could you share some of your favorite memories of working in this area? You know, experience, and I, I thank you for asking that question, because in this business, somebody like me, and I know there are a few, that we came from different countries. And, of course, with the languages, English, of course, French, you know, whatever it is maybe, I remember coming in here from uh, Puerto Rico. We had two or three guys over in, in uh, French Martin and... Uh, I met French Martin. Lafayette, you know, that he passed also. Yes. Yeah, and then there was a tech team. Rougeau? No, not the Rougeaus. Uh, one from Puerto Rico and one from uh, Quebec. Uh, I can't bring the name, but you know, they were there at the time that I was. So when they left uh, Puerto Rico, and I guess I made a good expre expression in them, they called back that they were looking for a heel. Yeah, so. Okay, you know, but it was the time right there, so uh, they brought me in to go back, and that's. But before I left, everybody's talking about the language. Oh, you won't like it there because you know they speak French. You know they'll snub you because they don't like the, uh, you know, uh, ugly Americans and all that stuff. You know all this story like that. You know. Uh, you know, here I am, I'm trying to learn how to speak English, and I'm in a, a Hispanic uh, country, I'm trying to learn at least a little Spanish, right? And I'm coming over, so I said to myself, well, must be somebody speak, you know, English there, I'm sure. But in the same time, you know, hey, I can always learn how to speak uh, um, uh, French. And my favorite is that, you know, uh, what don't she eat about that? What she eat about that? Yeah, doesn't Tyler? I said, I doesn't. What if I can say, you know, that, that, tell the fans it's a bad guy, you know? He said, What don't she eat about that? How cool or talk or whatever at the time, you know? But yeah, and that was something, you know. Anybody shouldn't be afraid because of the language. Because that's a lovely thing to learn the cultures, of course, you know, they're doing. I love it there. Good. Yeah, I love it there. You feuded with Dino Bravo during, yeah. this, uh, during that same times. Any thoughts on, the, on his murder and how it was allegedly uh, committed by a mob hit? I have no idea. Uh, Darujo told me later on. But the time I was there with him, you know, you hear all kinds of stories about his uncle was, you know, with the um, uh, mob and all this stuff, you know. Um, you know, we didn't know anything, never meet anybody, you know, that's like that. But, you know, of course, you, you're working with a bunch of, uh, um, uh, uh, what you call, um, Italian, Canadian, you know what I'm saying? So. You know, we had a great time. They were always good to us, especially me with my stupid things of, you know, fighting in the bars. Or Now I know, one, I, you know, that's why they didn't throw me in jail, right? <laughs> but yeah, but you know, I had a great time. And like I said earlier, you know, with all this negative about coming to Montreal, you know, even in those days, I told my wife, you know, let's live here. I like it. You then. liked it? Yeah. But she said, no, we had to move back. At the time they have all those uh, airplanes that they were, you know, kidnaps and all that stuff, you know. So, you know, she was kind of afraid that, you know. So, you know, we moved back. And of course, WWF perfectly come in and took off. So we moved back to the States after that. Thank you for watching the Hannibal TV. Please like this video if you enjoyed it and click the subscribe button to not miss any of our latest shoot interviews, match videos, or news updates. Support us on Patreon.com for $1.99 a month to watch our full shoot interviews ad-free 
and help our channel grow. Follow us on Twitter at The Hannibal TV for instant updates.